What's going on guys today and we're back with another career retrospective. It has been a while since we've done one of these but the fun one about this one is that the first time I actually saw this guy was a free YouTube MMA event. It's Future FC. If you've never heard of it, you can go on YouTube, YouTube and type in Future FC and you'll see they have all their events free on YouTube. And his name is Wellington Terman. Now, he took on Mauricio Alexandra Jr. with an eight-year age discrepancy. So Alexandra was eight years older and Alexandra was fresh off a contender series first round finish and would give the opportunity to a young Thurman in the main event of Future FC 4. At 22 years of age, Wellington took the moment to show off how dangerous he is, but in career retrospectives, we don't look at the now, we look at the before. So before we get to this UFC contract moment, let's go back to 2014. In August of 2014, at only 18 years of age, Wellington Terman made his professional MMA debut and took just two rounds to sink in a rear naked choke to capture his first win. Now that's a submission victory would be a statement on what we were going to see with how good this guy's Brazilian jiu-jitsu is. Now one of the extremely impressive things about Terman is his track record of taking fights extremely quickly. In his youth up until 20, he took five fights in 2014, winning all five before the final bell. Then he took four fights in 2015, suffering his first professional loss via decision. He's only ever lost by decision. Then took another four fights in 2016, again going 3-1, and one, again losing via decision. And that starts us off on August 12th of 2017, where Wellington would debut for Brave on their eighth show. Awesome enough, my very first career retrospective was on a guy that fought three fights after Terman and is now one of the fastest rising Brazilian superstars in the UFC. That guy being Johnny Walker, who defeated Rodrigo Santos in the first round on Brave number 8. Well, in Terman's fight, he also didn't disappoint. With his opponent having seven of his 13 wins coming via knockout or technical knockout, Terman knew he'd have to exercise his wrestling and extremely high-level jiu-jitsu. Let's just say this fight was very, very quick. In the first minute, the clinch put the two against the fence, and the two entered Terman's world. We'll see in some of Terman's fights that once they get to the clinch, Terman will find a way to get it to the ground, and he'll find a way to get it to a finish. Quickly, Terman landed an inside trip and landed in a dominant position. From there, Fatima tried to ride the fence to return to his feet, but... In this, left his neck open to Terman, and in quick work, at 1 minute and 27 seconds into the very first round, Terman secured a guillotine choke and another win on his career and the first win of his four-fight win streak that got him into the UFC. Two fights, they would be at Immortal FC on their show number 7 and number 10. In two three-round fights, we'd get to see Terman go to decisions that went his way, with one coming against Walker's opponent on Brave 8. In two back-to-back -back decision wins, Terman would go on to headline his first card at 14-2. In his most recent outing, live on YouTube, as I was referring to in the start, he'd face arguably his toughest test. As I was saying, Mauricio Alexander Jr. was an eight-year age, was eight years his elder, and experienced and had a clear experience advantage in the fight, fresh off a contender series first round finish. And Terman just went out there and handled him, as simply it put as possible. In a fight between two well-rounded fighters, Terman took advantage on the feet really, really early and landed a devastating left hand, and this would be a deciding factor in the fight. The leaping left hand landed on the button and got the two into the clinch where Terman takes advantage. With another toss from the clinch position, the work began again for Terman to find, Roger, to find Mauricio's back. And once the back was found, he slowly cinched in the rear naked choke, getting his eighth first round finish his 7th submission victory, his 11th stoppage victory, and can I remind you that at this point, on July 11th, 2019, he is only 22 years old, and he's going to get his UFC debut against 7-2, 28-year-old Carl Roberson. Now, Roberson started his career in 2015, and he's only had 9 professional fights. Wellington Terman has now had 17 professional fights with Saturday being his 18th. And we're going to get to see, I think, in a fight where they're really, really underestimating Wellington Terman. Terman is the plus 287 underdog against Carl Roberson. And in a fight that I think is made for Wellington Terman to find a submission victory in the first round, we are going to get to see it tonight on this fight night card. And it's actually got me excited for a, a pretty lackluster fight night card, to say the least. Wellington is not the most amazing fighter on the feet. He has some power and he has a solid chin, but if he gets cracked with a good shot, he could go to bed. On Friday, we're going to get to see if this guy is worth everything I'm giving to him. 
But that does it for another episode of Career Retrospective, where you give, where we give you insight on some of the fastest and upcoming superstars for the UFC and in MMA in general. So make sure you guys pay attention because Wellington Terman is going to make a statement this Saturday night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We do all things combat sports all the time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and peace out, guys.